Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. This channel is for all of you who love cooking and are looking for hygienic, easy, simple and economic method of cooking. This video will guide you step by step as to how to make butter at home from milk cream. I will also tell you the pros and cons of butter usage and give you some valuable tips. Butter is delicious, isn't it? We all love butter. Butter is used in various dishes. Many people think that butter making is a complicated process and requires a lot of time and effort. But that is not the case. Even a young child can make butter if properly guided. There are different methods of making butter, but I have found this convenient and economical. I have been following this for many many years now, so I would like to share it with you. You will just be needing about 15 minutes of your precious time to make butter at home. Please note that the time may vary depending on the climate, equipment used and the quantity. The process is very easy and simple and few people realize it. Once you give it a try, you will no doubt love it. Watch this video till the end and then give it a try. The required materials and ingredients to make butter from milk cream at home. Milk cream, desired quantity. Bowl, minimum 2. Spoon, minimum 2. Salt to taste, optional. Ice cold water for washing of the remaining milk from the butter. Curd, 1 tablespoon, optional. A small plate to keep spoons and churner. Tissue paper or cloth for wiping the spills. Hand butter churner, that is what I have used. You can use a wide mouth glass bottle with a tight fitting lid, hand blender or mixer, a stand mixer or a food processor. The nutritional facts of butter. 1 tablespoon of butter contains Calories 102 Carbs 0.01 gram Protein 0.12 grams Fat 11.52 grams We all buy milk for a daily use. We can use the same milk to collect the desired milk cream. First of all, we will boil the milk in a medium flame in a wide mouth container till it boils and there is a layer of cream which forms on the top. You can see the milk cream forming slowly and it will rise. Don't allow it to spill. If you do so, you will lose all your milk cream. Turn off the flame. Keep the milk aside for cooling. Don't cover the milk with a lid completely. Leave it partially open so that the water the vapor doesn't fall back into the container and spoil the cream. Don't separate the cream before refrigerating because as you can see there will be a great difference in the amount of cream that we obtain. If we store it in the fridge for about 8 hours we can see that a layer of thick cream has come on top. Just see the amount of cream that we have got. This is just one liter of milk. We need to remove this cream and store it in a container and keep it aside in the freezer. We do this until we get the desired amount of cream. I am preparing this butter from the milk cream I collected for the past 10 days. Tips and Tricks 1. Don't remove the cream from hot milk. Milk cream thus obtained will be less compared to that of refrigerated cold milk. We need to remove this cream and store it in a container and keep it aside in the freezer. We do this until we get the desired amount of cream. Once we have collected the desired quantity of milk cream, we can transfer it into a bowl. These are the things that I am using. You can see that I have used a minimum number of things. You can see the hand blender 
or churner and also a bowl of ice cold water a glass bowl with the milk cream here i have used my milk cream in this vessel and i have added 1 tablespoon of curd to it this is optional many people don't do it or many people add curd and keep it in the freezer some of them may want to avoid this totally i have found results i get a good quantity and quality of butter i always use 1 tablespoon of curd when i'm preparing my butter so you can give it a try if you want to or you can just leave it i have used a small bowl to show you things properly but you need to use a bigger one to minimize spills and speed up the process some more nutritional facts of butter 1 tablespoon of butter contains vitamin A vitamin D vitamin E and vitamin K tips and tricks 2 don't prepare butter during the sunny part of the day butter tends to melt in heat to get good results The room temperature shouldn't be too hot. And now what we are going to do is we are going to blend this milk cream. Here I am using a small glass bowl, but when you are doing it at home, what you can do is you can use a bigger steel bowl with a flat bottom so that you will be able to do things faster and you will not spill over things. So you don't have to be very careful while doing it. So you have to keep in mind that when we are doing this process it should not be too hot and it should be cool enough and the uh, milk cream should be cold enough so that when we churn it we'll get the butter soon instead of the butter melting away See the butter ball separating from the butter milk doesn't it look lovely this is what you're going to see when you prepare your butter at home some more nutritional facts of butter 1 tablespoon of butter contains calcium chromium manganese zinc copper iodine and selenium tips and tricks 3 don't throw away the milk or buttermilk that remains after the butter is extracted many soothing and tasty drinks can be prepared from it i will be giving you recipes later on We keep blending the cream for about five minutes, and then uh, when we see that the cream has become a bit thick and it's a bit difficult for us to keep blending, we can leave it aside for about two minutes. This will help the cream to form into butter globules and come on top. And then when we repeat the process again, we will see that the butter separates very fast. Tips and tricks. Four. Salted butter lasts longer than unsalted butter. Now we will separate the butter into a bowl containing ice cold water. This is very very important since butter melts in heat. So if you don't use water that is ice cold, you will not be able to get a proper quality of butter. It will be too soft and you will not be able to do the complete process properly. So once you separate it you try to mix it and wash it in a way that uh, the butter milk that is inside this butter is expelled and we get a clean lump of butter Tips and tricks 
Don't handle the butter too much with warm hands as it will liquefy. Usually I add about half a teaspoon of salt to this mixture of cream and curd so that it lasts a bit longer. Salt acts as a preservative and also it gives a taste to the butter. This too is optional, so if you want to use salt, you can. I have not used any coloring agent. This is the natural color of the butter that I have got from the milk that I got from the milk society near my place. Since the quality of milk differs from place to place, there may be a variation in color and quantity of cream that we get. So you can keep on changing the water till you get a clear water to an extent. Usually repeating this process twice or thrice will do. Remove it to a container you decide to store the butter and keep it in the fridge. You can also freeze it and then cut it into pieces before serving. We have to be very careful to see that there is no buttermilk milk or water remaining in this. So what we can do is we can either use a hand or a spoon or a butter bag to knead this butter and remove the excess water content. Now we strain the water and we get this lump of butter. Wow! See the amount of yummy butter I have got. Why not give it a try after you have watched this video completely. Tips and Tricks 6. Remove any buttermilk or residual liquid left in the extracted butter, else it will make the butter sour. Let's consider some benefits or pros of the usage of butter. According to some research, the following are some of the benefits. It's said to be a powerful antioxidant and anti-cancer. It's a good eye care agent. It prevents arthritis. It betters thyroid health and intestinal conditions. It contains cardiovascular health agents. It aids in health sexual performance and improved bone health. Now let's consider the risks or cons of overusage of butter. As in every aspect of life, we see that there is a good side and there is a bad side or the positive and the negative side of things. The same is the case with butter. Despite the health benefits of butter, please remember that it is still composed mainly of fats which can wreak havoc on certain people, especially those with poor diets who are obese or are trying to lose weight. So it's better that you have a thorough checkup, consult your doctor and then switch over to the usage of butter. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate the time that you have spent with me so far. Please feel free to comment so that I can improve my presentation and that will benefit many. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will be receiving my videos as soon as I upload it. So see you in my next video where I will teach you how to prepare ghee using the same butter that we have prepared now.